Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Pollinator, and it's about 12.15 a.m. Uh, I was going to do a, a big update, but I'm just going to do a small one here. But a lot of stuff has gone on today. We were gone most of the day, so I didn't do an update. But it um, doesn't look too good in Ukraine. The head of uh, our Pentagon, Mark Miley, called up the head of the Russian Armed Forces, this guy right here. This is the uh, equivalent to the... Uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff in Russia, this guy right here, called him up and asked him what's going on. Also, Europe has uh, put their forces on alert uh, uh, for a potential uh, clash uh, with Russia and Ukraine. Uh, so many things are going on right now. Uh, Hal Turner's reporting that, uh, let me just look at the uh, headlines, Flash reports, 35,000 Ukrainian troops with 300 tanks advancing upon the border of Donbass. Uh, here's that's one headline. Foreign press, uh, Ukraine's army chiefs of staff announced the start of the campaign on Donbass. Uh, we have right here escalation. U.S. We fully support Ukraine against Russia. European forces have been put on alert. The truth, uh, truce has officially ended. So the truth, a uh, truth, <laughs> the truth between, um, uh, Ukraine and Russia has ended last night, March 31st. So basically they're at a state of war right now. And Hal Turner is also reporting that Russia has sent their elite, uh, Russia sending their 56th Airborne Brigade to Crimea. So all this stuff is going on. I really need to do about an hour update to update you on all this news. Uh, we could wake up tomorrow and they could be going tooth and nail at it in Ukraine. But the United States, our Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and the President of the United States, Joe Biden, has pledged 100% to defend Ukraine from Russia. So that's going to involve NATO. So if this, this war really kicks off, folks, it's going to be, uh, you know, this could be the start of World War III. I don't know, but uh, it doesn't look like it. It says, uh, also at the mercy of their faith, the Ukrainians urgently set up minefields to prevent violent advance of Russian armored divisions toward the Dnieper River. So uh, they said the Ukrainians are, are planning mines to uh, blow up the tanks, Russian tanks, if they try to cross this uh, area and try to hold the Russian army back. So, so many things have been going on. Like I said, I'm going to try to do a, uh, a full update tomorrow. Uh, you know, uh, you might turn on Fox News or CNN and all this stuff is going to town. But um, I have confirmed all this stuff. This stuff is going on, folks. And I do have confirmation from multiple sources that the war in Ukraine is fixing to hit the fan here. So, um, just wanted to bring you this short update tonight. And like I said, I'm going to try to do a full update tomorrow, uh, hopefully before 12 noon. Uh, so you guys have a great night. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks, but bye-bye.